In this video, guys, we're gonna look at four ways to know you should stop trading for the day, one for day traders out there. Hey guys, warm well, welcome to you. Okay, so four ways to know that you should stop trading for the day. You know what it's like, you're trading away, and you're like, mm, when should I stop trading? Now, Sometimes we can overstay our welcome, right? We can trade and we end up regretting that decision for a long, long time. So four easy ways to know when we should stop trading. The first one is the market conditions change. What do I mean by that? You've been trading very, very happily away at the open for the first few hours. You've been a nice little uptrend or we've been uptrend, downtrend, nice and good environment to trade. You've been cat catching highs, catching lows, scalping away, making some money. Then all of a sudden, the market just decides to sit there and just do that. What do you do? You carry on trading, you carry on trading, you give all the gains back because you're trying to force that market condition onto this market phase and you lose money. So you need to have something that says, hey, when market conditions change, I am either out of there or I change my strategy. Probably best to get out of there, especially if you've had a good run in the morning movement. So that could be time of day. So maybe you say midday, you take a long lunch, whatever it may be, it doesn't necessarily mean go do nothing, it might be some studying, whatever, you get the point. Or it might be something based on the average true range. Average true range might be quite high. Then when it drops off below a certain point, you're out of there. Maybe that's a one minute chart, maybe it's 15 pips, six pips, whatever you're trading, something that says, hey, conditions have changed. It might be the other way around. It might be you're quite happy trading that and all of a sudden you go into really brutal volatility. Whatever it is, recognize it and come out. The idea is not just to make money, guys, it's to keep the stuff. You know, make the money with the great trades, but the key as well to trading is to not make a, a massive amount of losing trades. Sure, losing trades are gonna happen, but what you don't wanna do is have such good work and then just undo it because you're trading in the wrong environment with the wrong strategy in the wrong conditions. So learn to identify that. Learn to identify when market conditions change for the worse and then pull yourself out of it. So either reduce your size or pull yourself out or change strategy. My strategy is always to kind of just pull myself out of it and say, you know what, it's gone choppy. It's common for that time period. Let me come back at, you know, whatever it is, 7 p.m. UK time if I'm trading in the US for the last two hours and see what's going on and see if there's a trade idea I can generate from it, I can wait for for the day. Number two, you lose focus. It's easy to do. It's an intensive game. You've been trading hard uh, and just you just miss stuff. You're kind of a bit late to it. You 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 you. The easiest way to notice this is your 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 attention starts drifting. You start looking at maybe news articles about the market. Maybe you start looking at charts that are probably irrelevant. You've never traded them. Uh, you you kind of start looking at other stuff that's not really relevant to what you're doing. It's got no value to it. And when you see that, you've got to have that alarm bell goes off that goes. You know what? I've lost focus here. Unless you can bring it back quickly, it's probably time to quit. Because remember, it's capital preservation. We are risk managers first, guys. We're managing the risk of the capital we have in our trading account. So be prudent with it. And when you recognize that these are not the right conditions, do not trade. It's like going out and driving on the road in slick tires in ice. You just wouldn't do it. The conditions are not right. Okay, uh, someone's gonna say, hey, slick tires are illegal in the dry. You get the point. Maybe we could use a rake tracking analogy instead. Um, number three, not wanting to trade. What does this mean? So do you know when you kind of, maybe it's a Friday, right? You've had a good, good week and you say, in the back of your mind, a little, little voice says, hey, you've made good money this week. Why don't you quit, quit early and go out and enjoy yourself for the weekend, refresh, come back Sunday night, do analysis, and we'll attack it again on Monday. And you've got that little voice. Then you've got another little voice that says, yeah, but you can make another extra couple of thousand, or a couple of hundred, or whatever the money level is for you. And so that one wins, and you sit there, and what happens? Inevitably you end up giving stuff back, and you go, oh, if I listen to the voice that said, just call it a day, call it a day. And vice versa, you might be like, you know what? I've lost a fair bit the past few days. It's not outside of what I expected, but I don't feel in tune with it. 
I'm gonna, it's gonna take a while for me to kind of come back from this. I don't wanna feel like I'm chasing my tail too much in Friday or whatever it may be. Uh, let's, let's call it a day and let's come back refreshed. So those are two things that might say not wanting to trade. And just heeding that gut feeling, that initial response of like, hey, I don't really wanna be trading this or, or some doubt, because if you don't heed it, you, you just, you're just never gonna win because if it turns out that, that was true, you'll be annoyed by it. If it wasn't, you end up overruling yourself and not trusting yourself. So you've almost got to heed the warnings that come from you internally. Number four, you reach a certain PL, positive or negative. So stop. This is a pretty easy one, right? If you say to yourself, hey, uh, I'm only going to lose $500. Thousand dollars, hundred dollars, whatever the parameter may be for you that day. When you hit it, you stop trading. That's a binary event, right? It happens, you get out. You know that you've planned this out. You know that that's the maximum amount you're prepared to lose. If it happens in the first hour, so be it. The other one is um, coming and stopping when you reach a certain PL and the plus side. Now, generally, I'm against that because I think that if it's working for you and you're in the right conditions, you press while things are working. However, everyone's different and sometimes people get to a certain level of PL, they start trading a little bit more carelessly. They start trading differently. They start using a different approach, a different attitude. And as soon as you do that, whether it's from a greed perspective, euphoria, or from frustration or fear, you're out of your zone of focus and you need to stop trading. So if that's you and you find yourself, hey, making a lot of money on the day, you find yourself acting a little bit carelessly and a bit like a maverick, then you need to say, you know what, it's time to end the trading day. Come back fresh tomorrow. And they say, attack things with a new fresh light and a fresh clean slate. So those are four ways to know you should stop trading for the day. Market conditions change, you lose focus, you don't want to trade or that little voice in your head. And finally, the binary event of reaching a certain PL, positive or negative. All right, guys. Take care, good trading, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.